So let's talk a little bit about kind of how we get there, right? So there's this, this, this term called unconscious bias, which most of you maybe have heard of it. It's really been uh, well recognized in the academic world for a long time, but it's kind of making its way more into the business world as well as a, as a conversation as we talk about diversity. So what it is, it's an unconscious attribution of particular qualities to certain groups of people. Um, and it plays out in very interesting ways. So one way, ma'am, what's your name? Sherry. I used to work with a Sherry in Tennessee, and she was the sweetest person in the world. So I'm sure I'm going to like you because your name is Sherry, too, right? Um, Ma'am, where are you from? Upstate New York. People in New York are rude and not very nice. So I don't think you and I are going to get along. See, and that's kind of, in a very simplistic way, that's kind of how this works, right? Because our brains are these very unique supercomputers that like to try and figure people out pretty quickly when we first meet them. So what it does is it pulls on information, things that we've seen on television. You know, we watched, you know, uh, CSI New York or something, you know, like that, or maybe some random experience that I had with one person named Sherry. And so very quickly, your brain tries to draw these correlations and figure people out, right? Sometimes that's a good thing. Sometimes that's a bad thing, right? But that's kind of where bias comes from, right? So we all have biases. We're all wired these different ways based on where life has brought us, okay? So not, a, not a necessarily a bad thing, but the key is how does it play out for us in organizations and in the workplace? So again, you guys have heard some of the data before probably that tells you that you know resumes that have African-American sounding names tend to get 50% less callbacks, right? Because that's based on the biases and the things that we've heard and, and the way that we're wired in a lot of cases. Um, this one is interesting too. 60% um, of all CEOs are over six feet tall. Weird, right? So. I would like to think it's because those of us over six feet tall are great, you know, employees and we're skilled and we're knowledgeable, but she's laughing at me because she knows that that's not true, right? Um, but there's just something that happens for us, just the way our minds are wired. When an interview candidate comes in and it's this person of great stature and he's six foot four and we think that's a leader, right? Because we're pre-programmed to think that way. So we've got to break down some of those biases and even just understand that they're there and how those things work for us in the workplace. So, so that's unconscious bias. Those are things that are happening behind the scenes that you don't even realize. So um, at the end here, we're going to talk about, give you some tools to, first of all, expose it, but then also how to break it down and avoid it.